Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, we will talk about how to record early payment discounts to suppliers in QuickBooks Online. And if you ever need a one-on-one -on -one session with me, just go to my website to schedule a time. So let's get started. <laughs> First, I want to go over how QuickBooks Desktop records the discounts. It's so much different than QuickBooks Online, but what happens behind the scenes on the financial statements is the same for both QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. I'm in a bill in QuickBooks Desktop and I'm going to hit Pay Bill. As you can see here, it's easily accessible or easy to record a discount towards this bill that I've selected. We just click set discount and QuickBooks will bring up this box um, that tells us all the information about the discount. It's going to an other income account um, in the chart of accounts called early payment discounts. So I'm going to hit done and then I'm just going to pay selected bill. Once I pay the selected bill, I want to show you what it will look like when you print your check. As you can see, um, it has the reference number, the bill number, the amount, and it clearly um, states what the discount amount is for that uh, bill that you've paid. Now, let's go to QuickBooks Online and let's take a look at what we need to do. Oh, but I said I would show you the financials. So let's go into the profit and loss and take a look how QuickBooks on the desktop version is recording it. As you can see, it's under other income, early payment discount. So that's how it's being recorded in the desktop version. We'll take a look at how the QuickBooks online version is recording that discount. But first, what I did, I had to create a vendor credit and I put the invoice amount and then I put discount. And then I did early payment discount under the category section. Once I do that, then I can go and pay the bill. So I'm just gonna click mark as paid. When I do that, I will see all the bills in the top section and all the credits on the bottom section. So it's not quite like the desktop version. This could be a little bit confusing because then if you don't, if you don't see it, you might see this on the side. All you have to do is click on add and it's going to add the discount. So I want to select both to give me the correct payment amount. Then I want to select uh, save and close. Now your supplier may allow you to do one uh, bulk credit for all your bills that you're paying and taking the discount. Otherwise you could do it as each individual uh, credit for each bill that you're paying. So let's save and close. And let's take a look at how the bill payment or the remittance will look like. So let's scroll down a little bit. And as you could see, um, it shows the bill that was paid. And here at the bottom, it shows the credits. It's not like the desktop check stub where it's on the same line. It's two separate. And that's why I put credit, uh, the, the bill number and the discount for reference. So your supplier can know which, what credit you're taking for what bill. So now let's quickly take a look at um, the financials, the, the profit and loss. So let's go to the profit and loss and let's see how it's being recorded. As you can see, it's under other income, early payment discounts, the same thing. So the end result is the same for both softwares, but the process on how to get there, it's slightly different. I hope that this video has helped you. Please don't forget to subscribe for more how-tos, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.